So here we are in Macau. Macau is located just a short ferry ride from Hong Kong, although I actually went there from Guangzhou on the fast train, which took uh, maybe an hour or a bit more or something like that. Uh, Macau, it's now Chinese territory, but up till about 20 years ago, it was actually Portuguese ruled. So you see a lot of the buildings and gardens and uh, traditional foods and stuff are Portuguese. They come from Portugal. But all of the people there are definitely Chinese. You don't spot a lot of European people walking around there that are not tourists. Um, I spent my first full day walking around the Macau Peninsula. My hotel was located over in the east near Fisherman's Wharf. So I walked from there to Gaia Fort, Monte Fort, uh, the ruins of St. Paul, Sonado Square. And it's a really hilly place. The hills are intense. It was super humid even though it was pretty cold. Um, the streets are really windy, so definitely get a GPS, but it's it's totally walkable. It's only a few kilometres, um, like maybe three kilometres from one side of the peninsula over to the other. All right, I just got one of those egg tarts from this little place behind me. I'm pretty good. I kept going in the afternoon over to the other side of Nam Van Lake, over to um, Amar Temple, which is a really, uh, really important cultural place there. Mandarin House, which I think is just owned by, it used to be owned by some rich dude living in Macau, um, but it's a, a traditional Chinese style house. Um, up to Rua de Felicidade, which is just a, a cool little street uh, with a few nice shops there. Um, and then back across past the, the Lisboa Casino, which is an awesome landmark. It's just a, a really sick, unique building. It looks really cool. So it looks like I've done pretty well with my hotel again. Here's the bathroom, pretty nice. Hi. That's a little bit creepy. You can sit in bed and watch someone having a bath or taking a shower. Kind of cool, I guess, but maybe the best thing, they give you this little smartphone with free calls and internet well, here's my lovely view. I hope you enjoy your stay. Taipa Island has newer, bigger casinos. And one of the cool things is that um, all of the casinos have these free shuttle buses, which anyone can hop on. So it's really convenient to get from one place to another without having to pay a cent, even though within each of the islands, it's pretty walkable. I'm at the Venetian right now. I want to check out all of these um, casino hotels at night time when they're all lit up and stuff. It's only about 5.30 now, so I've got a little bit of time to go. So I've got a traditional Macanese food, which is um, kind of like a pudding. They call it uh, layered steamed milk or something like that. I've got it here with a bit of red beans as well, just to um, go on the Asian side of things a bit more. Pretty plain, it's just like a milky custard. It's nice though. It's cold by the way. Uh, just like Las Vegas, the casinos are spectacular. Um, I mean, it's totally artificial. Like, there's no culture there or history or anything, but it's really entertaining, really interesting to just walk around and check out how huge, how ornate these things are. and. Um, and how beneficial it must be to own a casino, like the money that it costs to put these things up, just coming out of people's pockets, gambling and stuff like that. This is Macau's Kotai Strip, which is like the equivalent to the Las Vegas Strip. Obviously there's not half as much going on, it's nowhere near as interesting, but the gambling revenue here is actually five times that of Las Vegas. Um, a lot of the same casinos you'll find at both places, there's an MGM, um, this is the Venetian right here, the Parisians down the road, all sorts of names you'll see in both places. Um, but yeah, inside of them is, you know, exactly the same layout, shops, casino and everything, but not quite as much going on here. Although it's a lot more dull, yeah, you could also argue that it's more peaceful, it's more safe, you don't have um, beggars and things like that and you know the people in the Vegas who flick their cards for you for strippers and hookers and stuff and um, guys trying to sell you their bad rap mixtapes and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, you don't see any of that in Macau, obviously. Okay, 
right now I'm in Taipa, Macau, which is like an island located uh, south of the Macau Peninsula, across a big, big bridge to get here. This is where that Kotai Strip is um, that I went to last night with all the big casinos. This is a more traditional um, Portuguese part of the city. It's got a lot of the um, old Portuguese style buildings. And I just went and had a traditional um, Macanese style lunch with the pork chop bun, that egg custard tart, and probably one of the worst coffees I've had in my life. That thing was absolutely disgusting. Um, I don't know what she did with it. I, I didn't see um, any ingredients about having cigarette butts or dirty stale old water in there, but who knows? Maybe that's a traditional style that they do here.